take it easy. I hate personal violence, especially when I'm the person. Who are you? I'm Villa Resto. Where are we? In a transit cell. I don't understand. You're on your way to the penal colony on Cygnus Alpha. Or you will be when the prison ship's refueled. Try to look on the bright side, it must have something. None of the guests have ever left early. In fact, none of them have ever left at all. Why are you going there? They didn't give me a choice. I steal things. Compulsive, I'm afraid. I've had my head adjusted by some of the best in the business. But it just won't stay adjusted. A professional thief? More a vocation than a profession. Other people's property comes naturally to me. What's the time? Just taking care of it while you're unconscious. The place is full of criminals. Thanks. Jenna. Blake. What's your story? I'm innocent of what I was charged with anyway. We have something in common then. We're all victims of a miscarriage of justice. It's true. Of course it is. What about the others? Oh, a very antisocial bunch. Murderers, liars, cheats, smugglers. Thieves. And they're the nice people. Do you think this is a good time for me to tell them I suffer from flight sickness? I don't think they'll be very sympathetic. I expect they'll find a cure for it, though. Mm. A permanent one, probably. They amputate your head. That one's going to enjoy giving us a hard time. And you've improved his mood no end. Why couldn't you be nice to him? He's not my type. You can't afford to be choosy now. Why else would I be talking to you? Thanks. Pleasure. Was it wise to put that idea into his head? What idea? Oh, he's bright. He'd already thought of it. What? what? He fixes the log, the crew dump us, pocket the profit and set him free. That's immoral. The cold-hearted, murdering... Let's kill him now before he can do it. Stay right there, and we'll kill them. Drop your guns. Move, and you're dead. Fila. I got confused. Hands on your heads. Now move. Single file. What happens now, then? This is nice, isn't it? What a miserable hole. If we all complain, do you think they give us a refund? Shut up. Don't you see the funny side of it? Hey, have you heard this one? There was a young lady from Cygnus who thought that... Are you going to shut your mouth or have I got to do it for you? There's a building. Cosy. What do you think it is? Well, the architectural style is early maniac. We need food and shelter. But do we need them that badly? Liberator is stationary and is stabilised in an anti-orbital posture. Whatever that means. We've lost them. So much for Federation pursuit ships. At least we know we can outrun them. Outrun them? In this, we can outstroll them. Transport what? Do we care? <laughs> Getting nervous? No. I've been nervous all along. I do not like the look of that thing. It's almost as if Zen has a limiter. A limiter? Something that stops him from helping us too much. Or maybe it's someone who stops him. Can. If you're trying to scare me, you're succeeding. Very delicate. You know, with hands like that and a decent upbringing, he might have made a respectable pickpocket. I wasn't planning a suicide mission. I should hope not. He fears death? I plan to live forever. Or die trying. Are you ready? Tell him I've just worked out a completely new strategy. It's called running away. Villa! Has he gone? How did you get in there? There isn't a lock I can't open, if I'm scared enough. Callie, what? I've just been spotted. The alarms are ringing. I thought you ought to know. She's alive. I knew she wasn't dead. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. I'm going to tell Gav. I don't like this. That's unusual. Mock if you like, but I can always sense danger. Yes, even when there isn't any. Have the locators detected the outer edge of the storm yet? No. Yes! No. Maybe. Which is it, Villa? 
It's maybe. Right, hang on everyone, this is gonna be rough. I don't mind rough. It's fatal, I'm not too keen on. You need a lot of explosives or a genius to open that. Can you do it? Of course. All right, we'll applaud you later for now. Just get on with it. I don't like the look of that. Not again, Villa. I'm entitled to my opinion. It is your assumption that we are entitled to it as well that is irritating. What do you think? As a matter of fact, I don't like the look of it either. He agrees with me. The flight path is too erratic. Makes it all seem worthwhile somehow. Zen, has something happened to them? Data is not available. I don't want data. I want to know what's happening. It will be necessary for you to make a personal investigation. Well, you're a big help. Personal investigation. Personal investigation. Next time Avon wants to make a personal investigation on how you work, I shall make a personal point of handing in the instruments. Personally. Avon. What? Shut up. Please. My lord might find safety from his enemies. Well, she seems to be on our side. Yes, but the poor woman's insane. As to him, all things are known and understood. Been alone too long, definitely. Oh. oh! I've got a wet foot now. Come on. Where did those ships come from? Who were they? Yes, and why did they attack? Zen was confident they weren't Federation. So why did they pick on me? I doubt if it was personal, Villa. It felt personal. It always feels personal when someone tries to kill me. When you get Zen working, ask him to prescribe something for a headache, will you? I've got this shocking pain right behind the eyes. Have you considered amputation? Never comes to a showdown. My money's on Blake. Well, half of it, I'll put the other half on Avon. <laughs> That's a safe bet. But if Avon is right, we'll probably all be dead anyway. Dead? Is that your idea of a safe bet? So, that is Space City. Also known as the Satellite of Sin. By whom? Me. It had to be someone of limited imagination. Pick a pleasure. Any pleasure. And you'll find it for sale in Space City. If you've got the money. But we have, we have. I've wanted to visit Space City ever since I was old enough to read the graffiti in the juvenile detention wards. But I'm not talking about that. She is an alien. She is more human than I am. That's not difficult. The bridge is complete. What? What did he say? Something wrong. No, that wasn't it. I hope you can trust him. I told you, he's a friend of mine. Yes, I always knew you had a friend. I used to say to people, I bet Avon's got a friend somewhere in the galaxy. And you were right. That must be a novel experience for you. All the home comforts? Leave that stuff alone. You live your way, I live mine. Mmm. Must be all the two days old. Give us a smile. Yes. Show us a leg. Two. I wonder if these make good pets. Villa. What? You're a fool. Nerves getting a little frayed? There are a quarter of a million volts running through that converter. I make one false move, I'll be so crisped up, what's left of me won't fit into a sandwich. I'm a vegetarian. Thanks for the offer, though. Relax. You have nothing to worry about. And if you believe that, you believe anything. I thought we had it that time. So did I. Oh. Callie, I could murder a relaxant any chance. It's for medicinal purposes only, you know that. This once. Well, are you dying? I'm thinking about it. Better still, don't go at all. At least don't go alone, not again. Let one of us go down with you. Are you volunteering? Me. Villa. Who are you? Chilly, isn't it? Come on, Villa. I don't think I can make it. Inga, stay and look after him. Blake, come on. Let's go. You all right? I'm not sure. Oh! Where does it hurt? Everywhere. All right, Aiden, get kitted up. You too, Villa. Good, terrific. I'm really looking forward to this. Danger, excitement, sudden death, I can't wait. What's the matter with you? Don't you ever give up? Come on, Villa. You're quite sure you need me? Certain. Doesn't it make you feel good to be wanted? I've been a wanted man all my life. What I need now is to be unwanted. Come on.
You see the old magic still there? The old ego, too. You, stay here and keep watch. You're in charge now, are you? Can you think of anyone more suitable? Yourself, perhaps? And why not? I'm as good as you are. Better, probably. A beautiful woman. And a fool. Hey. At least we'll recognize it when we see it, even if we don't recognize it when we see it, if it's the only thing that's there, if you see what I mean. Oh, shut up. I'm just trying to help. I don't like explosives. Very crude. Difficult to reason with a bomb. Blake! They won't explode until they are primed. And if it was faulty, a bit later complain to the manufacturer. Nothing. There's nothing there. I knew we were panicking unnecessarily. Alien hordes, I mean to say. There they are. Where? Where? Just coming into detector range. They're too far off to be sure. They could be meteors. They're ships. No, they couldn't be. There's too many of them. That's a cloud of meteors. Well, come on, Jenna. You can see that. Admit it. That's a cloud of... big meteors. Very big meteors. And it's slowing down. They know about the defence zone. Jenna, let's run for it. Callie! Oh, Callie, what a relief. I thought I'd never see you again. It's good to see you. I knew you were still alive because I felt your pain. Oh, you've no idea what I've been through. How is it? Well, it's all right, if you don't count the agony. I tried very hard to contact you. Well, things got a bit hectic. Are you all right? Yes. The others? I don't know. I think Avon's alive. He would be. I think it's time to start worrying. I've been worried all along. Are you going to let me in on the secret? You wouldn't understand it if we did. My classification might be grade four ignorant, but I'm not stupid. I bought that classification from a friend at the testing center. I didn't want to be a space captain, now did I? And I was right. They all ended up getting killed, didn't they? Tarrant survived. Oh, yes. Tarrant says he was a space captain, but then he says a lot of things, and you don't have to believe it all, do you? I'd be more inclined to believe that he was a captain than that you could have been. Communications blind spot. Or maybe he landed in the volcano. No, I think he's all right. Yes, of course he is. There isn't a volcano alive that would dare to swallow Aiden. Oh, be quiet, Finna. He's cold enough to put out the fire anyway. If that's winning, I'll take losing every time. Well, that's not fair. I'm 20,000 credits down. Come on, Villa, pay up. Why don't I ever win? Being a born loser may have something to do with it. And <laughs> the bad one at that. I may not be the bravest man in the galaxy. Are you sure? But I'd rather go down fighting than doing nothing. Villa, wake up. I'm in hell, and it's full of avens. Someone is going to have to go out through the inspection hatch in a spacesuit and replace them. The time we've been in space with our refit, that, that hatch will be space welded shut. Anyway, who would risk it? Someone who has a talent for opening locked doors. And has demonstrated a grasp of the problems involved. Oh no, not me. Not a spacesuit. Well, it wasn't my idea. Well, one of you can go outside. I never did trust those things. Nothing, absolutely nothing in the whole galaxy can or will persuade me to wear one. Not a chance. I'm now in the inspection compartment. Of course, I may settle down, you know, have kids. What do you think, Callie? What do I think of what? The lakeside at Gardenos. We could go swimming by the light of three moons. Who could? You and Callie? Oh, me and the kids. But you haven't got any children. Not yet, I haven't. Villa, you're dreaming. Two weeks of that and you'll be looking for something to break into. Excuse me. Stay exactly where you are and don't get excited. What's the matter? There's something in my boot. Look at that. It's Cairo pan. I've just done my foot in on half a million credits worth of Cairo pan. Couldn't have happened when I was down on my luck and looking for the price of a drink, could it? Only if you were down on your luck in this place. You mean I'm not?
the name's Villa, and you can relax your gun arm. I'm not looking for trouble. What's the matter, killer? Lost your nerve? That's right. Pity I didn't lose my sense of smell as well. What's that supposed to mean? You should try taking a bath sometime. You smell terrible. For someone who's lost his nerve, you take risks, little man. You didn't go to all this trouble just to kill me. Move. Where? There. A mouthwash would be a good idea, too. Move. That'll make you crazier than him. Crazier than who? You. What? Babe would not be pleased. Babe? That's what his mother called him, didn't you know? What are you doing here, Noel? This man was to be left alone. Now get out and do as you're told. You've 25 minutes left. Who told you that? Captain Baben. I didn't think you could have worked it out for yourself. Joke, just a joke. In 25 minutes from now, you're going to need a sense of humour. Maybe you should lend me yours. You said 45 minutes, little man. Any time now. What are you staring at? I'm not staring. We've been on the move a lot. Yes. It's the first chance I've had to, well, get cleaned up. Right. Leave it, Carol. Whatever's in there, we don't need it. So try telling that to Babe and... I'm going back. Are you coming? No. I think you should. No. All right. Thanks. For what? Following me. Well, I always did have a weakness for nice legs. Sorry. That's not what I expected. Ah! Ugh. He's lost a lot of weight, hasn't he? Oh, there's another one. It's all right, it's all right. I thought I was alone. You come and sit down. How long do you think the air will last? Well, if we don't move around too much. Hardly seems worth trying to stay alive a few minutes longer. Now, look. If you're thinking of shooting yourself or something, forget it. I don't believe in suicide. It stunts your growth. Actually, wasn't what I was thinking of. You know why I neutralize security systems, open safes, and break into vaults? It's because I can, and most people can't. To satisfy your ego? No, not really. It's just that it's what makes me, me. Carol, a thief isn't what I am. It's who I am. Forget it. You wouldn't like what was left of me. I think I've just made the biggest mistake of my life. In the light of your previous record, that seems unlikely. <laughs> I would predict that there are far greater mistakes waiting to be made by someone with your obvious talent for them. Shut up, Borak. Still, it's a comforting thought. Let's hope they've all got good legs. I think we've walked into a revolt. You're among friends, then. Avon may not see it that way. Stay awake. Of course. And sober. That was uncalled for. I only drink to be sociable. Cheers, Orak. I always said you were used to this pile of junk. No point in being nervous, Villa. No, there isn't. A lot of shadows I never noticed before. Hi, shadows. I suppose that's all you are. Just shadows. Don't think about that. No, I won't think about that. <laughs> We're not disturbing you, I hope. What? No, not at all. Carry on. I'm just teaching Orak some new tricks. Villa is teaching Orak? No, it doesn't make sense. No, Orak, you don't understand. I say, where do space pilots leave their ships? And you say, I don't know, where do space pilots leave their ships? And supposing I don't wish to know that? But you've got to say it or the riddle won't work. It is plainly nonsensical. Well, of course, that's the whole idea. I fail to see why I should take part in a meaningless, illogical conversation. It doesn't make sense and is therefore a waste of time. I'm shutting down. Do it for me this once, all right, please. Ready? Where do space pilots leave their ships? I don't know where do space pilots leave their ships. At parking meteors. <laughs> He's getting worse. If that's possible. Which lock can't be opened by a key? An airlock. <laughs> Villa! Just a minute. Listen to this. Villa, have you seen... Which the... lock can't be opened by a key? An airlock. <laughs> yes, that's funny. Don't you think that's funny? Have you seen Callie? Everyone's a critic. Have you seen her? No, why? What's the matter? I'm not sure. Looks like you've been elected to mind the ship, Villa. Oh, really? What a shame. Never mind. I'll stay behind instead, if you like. No, no, no. I wouldn't want to deprive you. I can see you're raring to go. Are you sure you won't be lonely? I've got Orek for company. Oh, I hope the two of you will be very happy. Knock, knock. Who's there? The Invisible Man. Tell him I can't see him. <laughs> Villa. Where are you, Villa? 
Yes, all right, I'm here. What is it? I told you to stand by, not lie down. I was standing by. Anyway, what's going on? Go on, Haven. Are you there? I'm here. Are you there? Avon? Oh, no. Oh, please, no. Tell you, she's mad. She's finally gone over the top. Well, that's an interesting viewpoint, Villa. Yes, isn't it? Came from talking to herself. Fascinating. And do you have any other theories about paranoia? Information. And what do you think, Villa? Me? Well, I think we should go back. After all, there's not a lot of scope for a man of my talents, not to mention charm and good looks, but then, on the other Villa! hand... Villa! Villa, please. Villa! Oh, no, I'm staying here. Come on, man, you wanted some excitement, now you've got it. Oh, no. You heard what Orak said, I need you. Come on! There was no need for what you did to him. Villa, we have to get out of here. You said that before. Villa! Listen, Tarrant, will you just stop shoving me around? I've had enough! All right. I'm very sorry for pushing you around, and I'm sorry for hitting your pal. Now, can we get on with the job? <laughs> My problem was always women. You like them? No. Before we go any further, I want you to know that I didn't steal this uniform off a dead guard. I was issued it. So? They were going to make me a starship captain. Just as long as you know. All you got for your cleverness was an execution order on your head. Yes, Villa, I take the point. You're obviously far cleverer than I. Right. So, this is where we're going. What? Where are we going? To destroy a computer. Why? It knows too much about me. It's not exactly thrilling, but it's all there is. And you came a long way to be thrilled, didn't you, Villa? Damn right I did. And I'm going to be thrilled one way or another. Have a drink, Dana. Do you know your most attractive quality, Villa? No. What? Your subtlety. That was it! Go on, you've got her! What are you waiting for? Well, I'm not sure. It's risky. Make the move. You'll wipe her out. Are you sure you can't read my mind, Kelly? Of course I can't. Even if I could, I wouldn't. That would be cheating. Go on, make the move. Take my word for it. Remember, I play this game right up to galactic master standards. Well, all right, if you're sure. Just do it. Trust me. Let's see you get out of that, then. My game in 9,721 moves. Galactic master. Thanks a lot. Wasn't my fault. Kelly responded with the wrong move. If she made the right one, she'd have lost that game. Uh, just a minute. What are you doing? Souvenir. What is it? Uh, it's just a pile of junk, really, but it means a lot to me. I built it. It's a sculpture. You're not going to make me leave it, are you? All right. Incidentally, you should always be careful about getting a second-hand spacecraft. They can be very unreliable. What have you done, Tarrant? I didn't save your life so you could keep risking mine. I don't have to justify my existence by going through the motions of trying to open a door, which I know is impossible. I'm the expert. If I say it's impossible, then it's impossible. To hell with it. I wonder where they keep that wine. Shall I hold this out of the way? Yes, thank you, if you wouldn't mind. Ah! Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I thought you were a lady gunfighter. <laughs> oh. Just a minute. Who are you? Where did you come from? Oh, let me. I'm Pella, of the Seska people. That idiot's looking forward to it. He can't wait to go snooping around Helatrix. He's good material, is Tarrant. One of the best. He's not the man for the job. Taron has about as much subtlety as a Tarjan walk strangler. All I'm saying is, Taron's going to walk straight into trouble and get himself killed or captured. If he's dead, he can't talk. But if the Federation find out we're hanging around, we won't stand a chance. Not on this ship. At least in the Liberator, we could always outrun them. Villa, if the Federation do have some new weapon, the Helots will know all about it. All Taron has to do is ask a few questions in the right places. Even your Tarzian walk strangler might manage that. You think so? Well, you better give him a list of questions and then a map to find the right places. Hello there! Anyone for a party? I'm afraid you'll have to bring your own booze because I've only really drunk mine. Anyone got any booze? Huh? And how about my cold, calculating Sulin? I'd like to see you on Ben just a little before we're all. all. Sometimes, Villa, you can be quite disgusting. Not so, my lovely. 
That can be disgusting all the time. It's easy. Easy as colliding with an asteroid, eh, Haven? You know, they say all your life passes in front of you when you're about to, about to, you know. It's what's happening to me now. All my past life. That's one misfortune we don't have to share. Fourteen I was when I was first sent to a penal colony. Ship was hit in the main drive by a meteoroid. Bang! You know what they did to repair it? Activated the force wall and generated an atmosphere inside the force wall so that the repair team could work in a vacuum without spacesuits. Because it wasn't a vacuum anymore, if you see what I mean. Very clever, those old prison hulk skippers. Slave, activate force wall. Pressurize it with our air reserve. That would be most inadvisable, Master. I'm terribly sorry, but our force wall generator is in a poor condition. Slave's right. We'd lose the lock. It's a great pity we didn't bring Orak. But I could manage a small force wall, a blister force wall, around the damaged part of the hull. Then do it. Let's go. Hooray! Out of the mouths of drunks. Drunk? Who's drunk? You are. Show me how to get drunk on plain water and I won't waste time. Well, then why pretend? Because, my lovely Dana and Sulin, no one ever tells someone who's drunk to volunteer. <laughs> I don't like working in main drive chambers, especially main drive chambers that are separated from space by one of slaves' force walls. Orak, report on navigation control system. 60% capacity is now restored. The fault in anti-grav gyro remains. We know it remains. We're trying to find it, aren't we, plastic brain? If I might be permitted to finish, the fault remains in the inertial guidance glycoline ballast channels. It will therefore be necessary for someone to enter the tank. Sounds messy. Physical inspection and adjustment is essential, if potentially uncomfortable. Sounds very messy. Now look, you can drown in that filthy muck down there. Mm. Smells lovely. No, it doesn't. It's disgusting. Well, somebody has to go down, and you are the one with the delicate touch, Villa. Magic hands, you've often said so yourself. Why do I get all the dirty jobs? Typecasting. This isn't fair, you know. No, it's pretty foul by the look of it. Oh, cheer up, Villa. You can have a hot tub when you come out, whether you need one or not. All right, I'll do it. Anything's better than listening to your jokes. Well, who puts on the hat? It will be Villa, or it will be me. It'll be you. Fine. Friendly looking lot, aren't they? Sure you can manage more than your own? Perhaps you'd better come with me. Oh. Well, if you like. Only it's bad luck to change your plans, you know. I mean, once you're started. My hero. Just keep your head down and try not to panic, all right? So what are we going to do with him? What do you think? You're going to kill an unarmed prisoner? When did you get religion? I'm a thief, not a butcher. Go ahead, Villa. We've been trying to contact you for an hour. What the hell have you been doing, taking a nap? I've been doing what we came for. How about you? Oh, nothing much. I've been shot at, trodden on, nearly captured twice. And now I think they're trying to blow me up. A fairly average day, you know. I just don't want to die. Is that unreasonable? Yes. yes. I never could stand the sight of blood. The feeling is probably mutual. It certainly takes some getting used to. What does? Knowing we finally cracked it. All I want now is to find a way of living forever. Mm. All we have to do is knock out a few planets for target practice, then name our own terms. We can have whatever we want. Think of it. Yes. I'll have an imperial palace with solid diamond floors and a bodyguard of a thousand hand-picked virgins in red fur uniforms. Villas, royal mounties. You're dreaming again. Man has a right to dream. Anyway, what's to stop us? I suppose it'll get boring after the first 50 years, eh? Listen, if it'll set your mind at rest, 
I never thought you were a woman. The way I see it, if you can understand parallel physics, anyone can. Unlike some people around here, I don't boast about my abilities. I keep them hidden. Oh, you certainly do. <laughs> How much oxygen have we got down here? How long can we last without fresh air? 18, 20 hours. And how long to dig our way out? Anything up to four days. Oh, no. Oh, well, I was never very good at maths, but... You don't have to be. We're dead. I never liked that place anyway. Especially not once the wine ran out. We know what we've got planned. Running away is what we've got planned. A strategic withdrawal is what we've got planned. There's a difference? Oh, yes. A strategic withdrawal is running away but with dignity. So lay in a course and let's get the dignified hell out of here. That isn't the plan anymore, though, is it, Aiden? I think we can do better. Does that mean safer? In the end, winning is the only safety. It doesn't mean safer. I didn't think it would. Actually, does it? All right, so who do you think they were, Sulin? I've no idea, Villa. But one thing I do know, if you want to survive on this planet, you have to assume that everyone is out to get you. I always assume that wherever I go. The difference is, on Gouda Prime, you'll be right.